The Tuba Taha Reef in Palawan is surely included in many people's dream destinations. It might even be in yours. But, do you truly know about coral reefs? What exactly are they? Coral reefs are known to be fascinating in colorful rocks or mysterious marine plants, but they are more than that. Coral reef is a group of coral polyps, an animal that has the appearance of an upside-down jellyfish. They can move, feed, and reproduce like most animals. They belong to the Nidorian family and possess stinging cells that can be found in the coral tentacles to help in catching prey. So what you're seeing as a coral reef is actually a colony of animals living and cooperating in the sea similar to ants or bees on the surface. Now that we've figured out what corals are, let's talk about their survival. Corals that produce reefs in shallow water have a little interaction with zoosanthellae, a photosynthetic algae that grow in their tissues. The coral provides a shelter for zoosanthellae and the substances they require for photosynthesis. In exchange, the algae provide the coral with carbohydrates as well as oxygen, which will help corals to survive. But why do corals need to be conserved? Coral reefs are among the world's most valuable ecosystems as they make up less than 1% of the world yet are home to more than a quarter of all known marine fishes. They also serve as the first line of defense against coastal storms by providing a barrier and dispersing heavy waves. Every year, a well-managed coral reef may provide over 15 tons of seafood, which is an example of how reefs can help the entire communities thrive, not to mention the jobs that the diving and snorkeling industries provide. Unfortunately, their future is bleak. Certain threats like diseases, predators, and storms are natural. Pollution, unsustainable fishing techniques, and climate change are all human-caused risks. Within the next 80 years, severe bleaching will occur 99% of the world's coral reef current trends continue and the world fails to limit greenhouse gas emissions. Many of the world's major reef systems could become barren graveyards by 2100s. But what will we do? What can we do? When we are visiting the waters, do not touch nor anchor on coral reefs. Avoid disposal of toxic chemicals in the ocean. On beaches, make sure you leave no trash behind and never throw or leave any cigarette residue. At home, follow proper waste management. Randomly throwing trash may lead to ocean pollution. Remember and follow the three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle as much as you can. Save energy at home and work and turn off electronic appliances when not in use. In your local communities, avoid the overuse of fertilizers on lawns. Avoid the use of dynamite when fishing. Use environmental friendly modes of transportation to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases. Above everything else, coral reefs are in grave danger of being lost within a generation. We should all be concerned about these amazing creatures. Conserving them for future generations will also help the people, plants, and animals who rely on them for survival.